Senior chairs. Senior coaches. Senior citizens. Junior scholars who are still here. Really, you came back for a second ceremony? The first one wasn't long enough? Actually, they probably came back for the photos that they wanted to take on stage, but that they couldn't because they got kicked off stage. Yes, quick word of warning, this theater doesn't enjoy having everyone come on stage at the end, so it might happen, but very quickly. Uh, scholars, we are so honored, humbled, and joyful, and also sad. There's so much that we feel at moments like this. We've had an incredible week together. And as part of that week, some strange things have happened. Uh, the juniors discovered one of them yesterday. Uh, Tim Tams and his Harry Potter-like uh, guys has done some dark magic, and would like to introduce you to a new alpaca creature. <laughs> I was experimenting with a holy juice potion for homework, and um, yeah, I'm sorry, sister. <laughs> yeah. It didn't go very well. But it did create this uh, marvelous, magical creature. Is it eternally happy? I can't tell whether it's eternally happy, but I'm going to choose to interpret it that way for my own mental well-being. <laughs> so, Tim Tams, the, the origin story of this creature involves something that happened to you once while you were doing a presentation, right? Um, you know, I've had many uh, varied experiences with Pikachu. But yes, uh, many of you may know that I was presenting to a group of students, much like yourselves, and I was carrying a yellow alpaca, and I asked, what, what is this creature? But of course, no one really knew, because alpacas aren't very common in the area I was presenting, and so the only person that stood up, I said, what do you think it is? I said, Pikachu. And now we have made that a reality with the, uh, well, actually, we haven't decided on a name for it. Some people will call it Pika Paka. I think it should be called Alpacachu. <laughs> if you think it should be called Pika Paka, make some noise. <laughs> you think it should be called Alpacachu, make some noise. <laughs> if you think it should be called a grave mistake, make some noise. <laughs> if you think it should be called a copyright violation, make some noise. <laughs> Quackachu, Quackachu, Quackachu. Who thinks we should be called Quackachu? <laughs> well, we will take it back to the drawing board, maybe make some modifications to, to avoid lawsuits. <laughs> and, and then perhaps at TOC there may be more of them. Yeah, yes, we will help him. So, thank you Tim Tam so much for, for bringing us this new friend. He will remain. Is Dave a chair? Yes. Let's find out. He is now. <laughs> oh no! He bounced. Let's see how long it takes for it to fall. Okay. Three hour ceremony, one centimeter per... If at any point the scholars start laughing for no weird cue, we know that a hack has fallen. So scholars, as we were saying, over the last few days here at this Golden Round, some amazing things have happened, including some strange things, but you've also had so many wonderful experiences, you've made new friends and teammates, and hopefully you've made a lot of memories over the last few days during all the different events. At least two scholars have. Who has made no memories? <laughs> Who has lost their memory? <laughs> That's rather worrying. What a scholar's ball. Who drank boost juice? <laughs> Who has Dylan's boost juice code in their memory? <laughs> it's a barcode. I mean, <laughs> I thought it was like a little like alphanumeric code as well above the barcode. Oh, I clearly haven't bought boost juice. I clearly am Dylan. I mean, neither am I. Oh. Well, scholars, we are gathered here today to celebrate a week that we have shared. And before we move forward and think about the awards you have earned, 
with great pride and with great effort. We want to take one last moment to look back at the times that we have shared. And we'd like to invite you to remember this week in images and sound. Scholars, we begin every closing ceremony with the moment in which we honor and recognize the great diversity of nations that come together at an event such as this one. Now, some of you come to us directly from schools in the countries that you are represented. Others of you live far from the homes of your family. You may be attending international school by choice in a country far from home. Or you may have been displaced one, two, three generations ago and still look back at a different time and a different place and find something of home in it. At this global round, we want to recognize all those origins, all those places to which we are attached that help shape the story that we then shape as one with a flag march to recognize the flags of all those many incredible places. Please join us as we welcome in the flag bearers of the World Scholars Cup. Our first flag bearer marches into this theater carrying the flag of the Bahamas, Adriana Musa. white 
flag of the country that hosts five regional rounds and is here in great numbers from Indonesia. of the beautiful island of Taiwan. Please welcome Sean Chuang. <laughs> and carrying the banner of Taiwan. 
Thailand. It is Chayan Natanjariya boy. And representing the United Arab Emirates, we welcome Ishita Trivedi. Bearing the flag of the country that many members of the World Scholars Cup team call home from the United States of America, Nuru Shakia. We are next joined by a representative of a country which hosts two of our largest regional rounds every year, and this year, a third, from the nation of Vietnam. Please welcome Phuong Lin Vu. And scholars, representing the great nation of Zimbabwe, it is Maui Msamfa! <laughs> and scholars, the final nation to march into this theater is the one that has been our host and our home for this last week at this global round, please welcome the flag bearer of Australia, Catherine Corey. <laughs> Scholars, if you enjoyed your week here in Australia, please put your hands together for this great nation. and the lands from which you have come to this event. These are places which have formed impressions in our lives that will be not just long-lasting, but with us as long as we are on this earth. And yet, the earth that we live upon is one in which we do not often have moments like this one, where we can see right before us the evidence that the world can come together that in a world where the margins are a very real thing, where there are those among us who live in nations that might be on the margins of commonly taught history, might be on the margins of geopolitical recognition, might be on the margins of poverty or the margins of change or the margins of unrest. Some of us live lives in which we might ourselves, for one reason or another, feel marginalized whether it is in our schools or even, sadly, sometimes in our own homes or in our hometowns. All those margins seem like they would be the story of sadness, like they would be the story of the world coming apart. Because, let's face it, the margins appear to be upon the edges of every page. And certainly we live in a time when we see and read every day of what appear to be efforts to drive us apart to pull us towards different ends of the page, to drive us toward the margins. I look upon the scholars here on stage and at all of you, and I see the antidote to that. I see 
that scholars can come from countries whose leaders might not even understand what is possible when you gather like this. I see scholars who have been willing this week to embrace one another even in moments of awkwardness, of fragility, of fear, whether those moments are when you are running across the scholar's ball to jump over a pole that is a little higher than you know you can reach, or when you are performing on the stage in the show and sharing a story of your own with thousands of others, knowing that even if you haven't met them all yet, in this community, they will all understand. And so, here we have the flags of many nations, of many places. And in each one of those places, there are things that those who are not from there may not understand right away. But we can still celebrate them, and we can still learn from them. Just as we celebrate one another here this week, and learn from each other every day of our World Scholars Cup journeys. Those journeys do not end today. They do not begin with the beginning of this global round. This is a family that I hope can stay together long after many of you have been taken by the dreaded university. No matter what countries you may end up in yourselves, there is this community that will stay together because I have seen here truly more than any other global round that kind of willingness to befriend by revealing yourself. And that, when you admit to others that you have imperfections and that you have fears, it is when others pull you from the margins into their own hearts. So scholars, please join me in saluting these flag bearers as they demonstrate that for all of us by raising their flags in the air and waving them side to side so that their flags may mingle the way that we have and create the breeze of history. This is never complete if one flag doesn't cover me up at least once. Global community. 